Today we taste 70 year old fig pudding. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. It's the show you've all been waiting for. It's the, why did they put this in cans and why are they opening said old as hell can? Oh, for the combined pleasure and horror of the internet? Okay, episode. <laughs> the mythical crew keeps finding more and more vintage unvintaged. Yeah, they've it's, been vintage. That's what time does to things, it vintages yeah, them. Yeah, right. Unopened cans of food on eBay. So we keep asking, are these elderly and unopened canned foods still enjoyable and worthy of modern shell? Let's find out. It's time for Show Us Your Cans, Vintage Canned Foods Taste Test. <laughs> <laughs> Show us your cans. <laughs> Here's a can, it's stir. Okay. So cans are now including canisters. I have an issue with this, not just that it's a canister, but that it's from 1990. 1990 is not vintage, y'all. It, it's made to look vintage. You know what vintage. I was doing in 1990? What uh, we were doing in 1990? What We were being uh, 12 and 13. 12 and 13, man. It's, it was such a it wonderful time. It seems like time. yesterday. Such Enjoying canisters time. of Cracker Jacks. Uh, yeah, I don't remember eating Cracker Jacks. And also, Cracker Jacks. No one did, because they're 30 years old. Well, cra here's the thing about these. They're from the 90s, but they're made to look like they're even older. I know. They were vintage when they came out. They're vintaged. Maybe that's what... Oh! Are you okay, No! Man? Please open it. Yeah, I, I want you to know that I feel your pain. No, you don't. Oh, look. They're still in bags. Uh, did the... It's, it, it's vacuum sealed. I really need to loosen it up. Don't. No, I wanna, I wanna... That one's actually not... That one's puffy, which is not a good sign. And this one is shrunk wrapped. Yes, look at oh, this. we don't need no scissors. But since they're here. I mean, yeah, it's an entire slab. It's just a nutty buddy now. <laughs> Woo! It's a big Rice Krispie treat. It's got the bugs. You know what? I mean, it sort of smells like I would smell from time to time. In maybe, maybe that's Wade Boggs right there. Was Wade Boggs ever a catcher? Look, two, li two little nuts. Two little nuts still sticking to this what was this thing that they Guess put in Guess what's inside, in? toy surprise. What is this? Well, takes me back to being 12 and 13. Field General Badge Fun. Well, I've got the Genius Badge. To wear, think. open badge slightly and place over pocket edge. What? You have a pocket? You do have a pocket. Well, oh, 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 oh. You have a button. No, I want the Genius Badge. There you go. I'm gonna give you both of them. You're gonna be the field general genius. Not much of a genius. You're not able to follow instructions. Okay, uh, we gotta taste this stuff. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, that's why there's two of us. Trust so me, mine as just, well. In, just it gets case, a lot older than this. Just in case one of us dies. Why is yours so much darker than mine? Because I'm 13 <laughs> to <or> 12. <laughs> Mine's darkening up earlier. I'm gonna eat yours. Is that part of it? Yours didn't get darker? Darker? <laughs> I'm just searching for I something, I have to man. take you seriously. I'm just searching. Because I'm a little concerned that yours got darker. Did yeah. it, if it got darker, just tell me. No, it didn't. Okay. okay. <laughs> that, um, it's not that bad. It, 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 it's a little bogsy. Mine's bogsier than yours. No one cares, Cracker Jack. You went away, <laughs> stay away. Cracker Jack cannot. cannot. You know, Cracker Jacks are still around, Link. I wish I didn't. That's a different episode. Wish you weren't telling me When that. we figure out if something should be brought back. Cracker Jacks don't exist. Cracker Jacks don't exist. Okay, you know what does exist? This 70-year-old can of fig pudding. Now, I love pudding, but yeah. I, I have to be honest. I don't know if fig pudding is the same thing. I have never known what figgy pudding is. Bring us some figgy pudding. Well, you're about to find I'm like, out. I uh, don't know. I probably and I don't would like know it. If this is going to be representative of what it would be and what it's being referred to in that song, and I can already tell you right now that the liquid has left this thing. Also, it's in, look at the shape. I feel like I love that. Based on what I know about engineering and geometry and things, I feel like I have to open this side in order to get this thing out. Because if I open this side, I'll just be a dumbo trying to get a thing out through something that can't fit. Four sides. That's smart, right? You did, you really well, did. Well, I am a genius field general. But I think that. According to Cracker Jack. 
I thought you were gonna say, does it make it less stackable? Because it can't hold as much. Um, uh, what's Donna, bottom down pressure called? Not tensile strength. This is not KG, be good. bring me another can opener like I'm having a rough time or something. This is not gonna be good, guys. Get ready. Oh my you, lord. You wanna just right on the desk or hit it? We have a plate you can put it on. Yeah, but it's a dark plate. We make it light. We make it light. All right. See, I think you were you were right about this. <sighs> oh, no need to tap. Oh wow, it's like potting soil. It really. Hold on. That's not a bogs. That's not a bogs, Link. I mean, it's something new. I mean, it's, it looks like coffee grounds. <laughs> <coughs> you've tricked me. <laughs> you, you, you've tricked me. <laughs> you have. Why are you tricking me? I, I don't find this unpleasant. I don't know why you're reacting that way. It, there is a little bit of fig Newton, which I recently discovered contains figs. It still has a figginess to it. Yeah, do it, man. Give it a lick, daddy. There you go. We gotta getting, know if it's still good. I'm getting good. ready, okay. Did the can keep it safe? Uh, uh, I'm getting ready. <laughs> yeah. You want me to? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm gonna put my tongue out, you force my head down. <laughs> now, it's not me resisting, it's my tongue resisting, okay? Just, just whatever you gotta do to get me down. <laughs> whatever I have to do? Yeah. <laughs> He's shaking so much. Why are you shaking so much? <laughs> I've tricked him. Mm. It look? instantly burned. Burned? It burned. What does it look like if you uh, cut it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I wish I had a nice knife, but all I have is scissors. It was a passive aggressive way to ask for a knife, wasn't it? Oh God. Hold on, is that me or this? Give me that knife. I don't know. If, I don't know how to use scissors. It's an aggressive way to ask for a knife. Oh, my my mouth tastes weird. Like I is it burn? It's like something entered my body somewhere else, and I began to taste something in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like like a digestive juice came up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. It's real bad. I'm gonna push through though. But. I think we've learned that it's, it didn't keep in the can. But now when you lick the inside, it might taste we better. Don't know. We don't know what figgy pudding's supposed to taste like. Oh, it just looks like more of the same I thing. I mean, it looks like when your plant died and you just dumped out the, the pot. Hmm. What is that like ring situation? Do you see that? There is um, there is some moisture that is in there. Put your tongue on it. Yeah, put your tongue on it. Rhett's tongue is soiled, so we need a fresh tongue. Yeah, yeah. Tongue I, want, I want you to feel what I'm feeling. It, se it seems so good. Which is like, <laughs> as if you've been poisoned. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. Maybe you shouldn't. Just I'm a, just gonna just get close. Light, light and con just like contact. At, you know, at a certain point, it'll jump from the figgy pudding to my tongue. It probably already has, that's the thing. It probably already has. Oh, I touched it. Yeah, you did. Did it sting? You think a little bit? He stung a little. Yeah, a little bit. It did. There's a. Yeah, it stung a little bit. You want to do it again now? Yep. Can't help yourself. <laughs> ah! It does sting. It does sting. It stings. It stings. It stings. The figgy stings. pudding stings, y'all. It's not great. Oh gosh. So again, bring it back. No, no. that's again. That's not the. Good. The can didn't keep it, and it might have something to do with the fact that there's a complete rusted hole right here. Oh gosh, we just ate a can that's been exposed oh, to the air for... Yeah. No, I think I did that. Okay, good. Fig pudding, can not. not. We'd like to remind you that we eat a lot of amazing things at this desk, and that's why the Mythical Cookbook exists. Mm -hmm. We are so excited. So much work has gone into this thing, written by Josh with the support of the entire Mythical Kitchen team. It features some of your and our favorite recipes from the show, plus completely original dishes developed 
by the Mythical Kitcheneers. Y'all been asking for this for a long time. Now you can go over to mythical.com slash cookbook and pre-order it now. Also, go over there and take a look at some of the photography. That's one of my favorite parts about the book. I mean, the recipes are great. Great the pictures photos. Are, are great as well. So we got some of those preview pictures over there at mythical.com slash cookbook. And the commentary throughout uh, develops an ethos of yes. mythical Josh cooking is a great and writer. eating. He's a great writer, very funny, and you already know he's smart, but don't tell him that, he already knows it. Okay, Rhett, are you in for a little canned bean action? Well, this is actually chili, but it is with beans. With beans, wolf, wolf chili. chili. Wolf chili. Yes, wolf meat. From the 70s, so one Still way to think about this, Link, because we're from the 70s, is this is what we would be like if we were chili. Yep, and I'd like to think we still taste good. Yep. 79 cents at the time. Of course, we paid $90 for it. Good, well, we, right, we gotta eat it. <laughs> we gotta eat it to make it worth it. Let me try my hand a little. Any predictions? How much moisture do you think that's gonna have, that wolf chili? We've got some puffy half in it, which tells me that okay, it's probably so drier. Because this is, I just wanna give you a fair warning. Because this is a meat product. Yeah. Meat does not age well. No. This is no figgy pudding, my friend. So prepare to dry heave. <laughs> For the stinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I popped it. Oh. <laughs> it farted. Did you smell anything? Did you? Nope. I didn't. I, it shot that way, though. <laughs> so maybe you'll get it. Oh, yeah. It smells like somebody farted, Link. Great time to fart is when you're opening a can of 70 year old chili. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 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 Um, some of these have like a like a grabber, but neither one of these do. Gosh, we, I haven't, I have uh, Oh, I did, you flicked. Did that go on my? Yeah. It might burn, is it, it burning? I can't. Okay, there you go. There, it oh, oh gosh, it, it, that's the fat has, the fat has settled. Oh, there's one bean on it. Hold on, hold on. I hear a siren, I think the, the police have been. They know we opened it. They know we opened it. It was booby trapped. Can you dump it? I wonder if um, in a full moon. Oh yeah, you know, you know about if it turns into, vacuums. If it turns into a team. You know about vacuums. Team wolf chili. Get it? Okay. Blow on that. Put your mouth right on that hole and just blow. <laughs> Don't suck though, because it might kill you. Good boy. There you. <laughs> Yes, Red. I'm so proud. Yes, you did it. You blow the wolf chili. And it came right out. And it it looks kind of frosty on the end. Is this has this been frozen? Oh, it's so. Oh, it's jiggly. It's still got a jiggle to it. I think I could just take a whole spoonful. I, I look at that, Link. Oh gosh, now I'm smelling it. Now I'm smelling it. I mean, it looks like dog food. I feel like you could tongue that. I wouldn't know. Mm, it smells like dog food. <coughs> get a real good whiff. Get a real good whiff and you will dry heave. It smells like dog food. I wanna see you dry heave. <laughs> just put it right up to, here, I got a big spoonful. Just just breathe in deep through your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, can, you can't, look, it, I'm, brr, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, it, gonna, it, I'm gonna sniff it without dry heaving. It, like I a th wolf would. I don't think it's, I don't think it's the worst. It. I, I think it's dog foodie. I'm gonna do it without dry heaving. It comes on, you resist it. Just resist it. Resist, resist, resist. No, no, oh, oh, oh. Resist it, resist it. Oh yeah, breathe out, that's good. We shouldn't be taking it, I mean, just because we're not eating it, smelling it no, is like no, a little bit the cousin good. of taste. Inoculation. Really? If we sniff this now, 30 years from now, we can't be poisoned. But the thing is, when we sniff it, it goes up in the, the sinuses go all the way up you next to our it, brain. It breaks the blood brain barrier? I'm a little, I'm scaring know. myself we'll with what I'm on, saying. We'll have to I, go on Wikipedia and find that out. I don't know. Did we do everything we needed to do in order to move on? Yes. Chili cannot. We interrupt this episode of Good Mythical Morning to let you know there's a brand new video coming out on the Red Link channel this weekend. And it's featuring a very special guest. Two special guests. Why did the chicken cross the road? We wanted this to be 
an experience for the chicken, like the first time this chicken has crossed the road. I wanna be there for that. Chickens, we welcome you into our space. That's the freshest egg I've ever seen. One of you is gonna have the amazing opportunity to get to the other side of the busiest road in Los Angeles. Hey, Rhett and Link. Jason Siegel. I gotta get to the carpool yes, yes, yes. opening. You're gonna have so much to tell your chicken friends about. Let's, Let's balk about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty dumb, pretty, isn't pretty it? Pretty cheesy. What's that? It is Dawn Fresh Mushroom Steak Sauce. Fresh? From the 60s. Okay. 60 year old steak sauce. Oh, I, here, Look. Listen, listen, listen. We've got liquid. We've got sauciness in this that thing. That sounds, that sounds Hey, it's ready, it's ready to serve. I kinda like. It'd be nice if we had a steak just to pour it over. Yeah, they were kind enough to do that. Oh. Uh, maybe Convenient. I'll, maybe I'll eat a little bit before. You got me a little bit worried. I know. You got me a little bit worried, Link, because you're talking about the blood-brain barrier and I know. smelling things. I'm a little worried. Well, this is distributed by... But you don't get those badges by being a wuss. The Green Giant Company, which is in Lesseur, Minnesota, which I guess is where the peas are. I guess that's where the peas are. Is that where the peas are? I like the aesthetic of this. Yeah, so small. small. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we get a little bit of a release. Oh yeah, oh we and got, bubbles. okay, but no. Oh, spurting, spurting, spurting. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think that's good. I think that's a bad sign. I think that's a botch sign, like a botulism sign. Yeah, well, you botched this one. Okay. You're the one with the, with, with the, Huh? With the what? With the badges. Listen, I'm just a field gen genius field general, and I, my my instructions are not to eat this. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of liquid there. It's no it's no longer fresh. There's a lot of liquid there. Great. Pour it on the steak. Maybe 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 things will change when you pour it on the steak. Fifty dollars. Maybe in context that's, it'll make sense. That's what we paid for this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, there's okay. The, there's that's the, yeah. Here, now we're now we're talking. Now we're to the now mushrooms. we get to the thick stuff. Now it's starting to look appetizing. Okay. Oh, really? Now, yes. If, if it was something else, I mean, <sighs> it's kind of separated. Like a s apple cinnamon pudding, apple cinnamon no! sauce. Ugh. It looks like refried beans. Now, give it a good whiff. Roger that. It Captain General. It smells a lot like the can. That's what I'm smelling right now. Yes. 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 Yes, Lord. Bless this food. <laughs> <laughs> Let it not kill us. Let it not purge through the brain blood barrier. <laughs> it's very metallic. It's so metallic. That's what the inside of my mouth was tasting like with that figgy pudding. Okay, you know what? We are exercising our autonomous right to not Touch our tongues to this. We don't have to do it. Um, we don't have to do it. We should. We shouldn't do it. It's beautiful um, in packaging, but not in release. The Dawn Fresh Mushroom Steak Sauce from the 1960s. <sighs> Can cannot. Not. Okay. Well, we learned a lot today. Uh, mostly that things are not really holding up in cans very well yeah, anymore. P people just want to buy this stuff to put it on a shelf, not knowing how close they are to their blood brain barriers. But it's a great investment. Think about the return on that mushroom steak sauce. I mean, you pay, what, 30 cents for it back Probably. in the day and you get a $50 return. So a great investment is canned foods. Uh, none made it through our rigorous testing and we're fine with that. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Caleb. And I'm Anna. We're from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we just, just got, got married. married. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs>
Congratulations. <laughs> I love how they got everyone involved. <laughs> Click the top link to discover all the weird poopery scents available in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land, we finally released a cookbook featuring fan favorites and our favorites from GMM and Mythical Kitchen. It's the Mythical Cookbook. Pre-order it now at mythical.com slash cookbook.